Welcome again. Right now we're at Romans chapter 15. We're going to be reading verses 1 through 13. Denying yourself for others. Paul writes, Now we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of the weak and not to please ourselves. There's a big one right there a lot of people like to do, but we're not supposed to please ourselves. Let each one of us please his neighbor for that which is good. I like that, for that which is good, because some people want to be pleased, but it's not good what they want. So let us please his neighbor for that which is good, to be building him up. For even Christ didn't please himself, but, as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. That is found in Psalm 69, verse 9. And just as a footnote, just as a little nugget of gold here I want to give you, when you read the Psalms, next time you do, read it thinking about how these are the words of Yeshua. These are the words of Jesus himself speaking. And here we see an example of that, where it says the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me, first person. This is in the Psalms. David wrote it, but Jesus was speaking it. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that through perseverance and through encouragement of the Scriptures, keep in mind this term here, the Scriptures, is referring to what we would call the Old Testament, okay? That is what Paul had in mind when he was talking about the Scriptures, and actually other documents as well, and we're going to get into that later. Paul wasn't talking about his own writings here when he said the Scriptures. Through the encouragement of the Scriptures, we might have hope. Now, the God of perseverance and of encouragement grants you to be of the same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus that with one accord you may with one mouth glorify God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now when he says that you may with one mouth glorify God, he's talking about everybody using their own personal mouth, but they're, they're all saying the same thing. Therefore, accept one another, even as Christ also accepted you to the glory of God. The TR reads, us instead of you. Verse 8, Now I say that Christ has been made a servant of the circumcision for the truth of God, that he might confirm the promises given to the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will give praise to you among the Gentiles, and sing praise to your name. And that is found in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 50 and in Psalm chapter 18, verse 49. Again, he says, quote, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. Deuteronomy, he's quoting the Torah here, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 43. Again, quote, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Let all the people praise him. And that is found in Psalm 117, verse 1. Keep in mind, this is a Jew speaking from a Jewish culture. So for a Gentile to get saved was like, uh, like they're like, can it really be possible? Again, Isaiah says, quote, There will be the root of Jesse, Yeshe. He who arises to rule over the Jewish people? No, the Gentiles. And if you read the book of Micah, if you read the book of Isaiah, you will read how Jesus will come back. Yeshua will come back and he will rule over the Gentiles. He will rule the world from his throne in Jerusalem. Not only that, but it says he will rule the world by the rules of Torah. There will be the root of Jesse, he who arises to rule over the Gentiles. In him, the Gentiles will hope. And that is found in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. And it's very important, as always, to seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and 
mighty things. Love you guys.